it's Monday. Sing a little Monday song. Monday. We're about to head into... Huh? <laughs> We're about to head into Stratford to return some stuff to Mango. Really, really, really annoyed actually. I basically bought this from Mango last week. I've worn it once, I've washed it once, and I don't know how well you're going to be able to see this. Let me try and show you on the bed. But basically, the straps have started to fray, so they all looked like this one. So they were all really thin, and now they've all just frayed. And it's happened on, like, both, and they look really gross. So I'm going to take that back, because obviously that's just really annoying. I don't want a top that's broken. So hopefully, because it's faulty, and, like, I washed it on a 30. 30 washes do nothing to anything. Like, I always wash on 30, because it's basically the safest way to do it. And, yeah, that happened. So I'm going to go get that sorted out. Out. We want to have a little look around. Adrian wants to get a hat. I'm going to see if I can find like some bits and pieces. And then today, like later today, we are heading to the Arch Hotel. Arch or Arc? I, I don't know how you actually say it. But we're heading there. It's in Mayfair and we're having an overnight stay with them. And then we're obviously reviewing it on the blog and stuff. So there should be a nice big chunk of footage that Adrian's going to do. A nice little silky from the hotel. He's been planning it all day, kind of like working out how we're going to stage out because we're going to try and get the vlogs a bit more like stories. So when we do clips of places, it's not just like sporadic little clips. It kind of tells a story more. And then, yeah, I need to get dressed to be honest. My hair, I slept with it damp and it's kind of a bush. But I don't know if it's a bush that I can work with or a bush that I kind of need to reevaluate I don't know but I'm going to my hairdresser on Wednesday and he is gonna hopefully give it a trim he said he's gonna um color it I might just ask him to trim it because I feel like I just want to trim but yeah I'm gonna go ahead and sort my hair out and then we're gonna head to Stratford and eat some breakfast because I need breakfast we've just got to our hotel room and I thought I would give you a little show around of our room not gonna lie not exactly what I expected because the hotel is very like typical Kensington from the front but very like Georgian and like old school, like nice dark wood, very like my aesthetic. Um, so we've walked into the room and this is what the room looks like. Not saying it's a bad room, it's a nice room. It's just not very me. So um, this is the wallpaper, very nice and bright orange. Then you've got the bed here, which is a really nice, I think king size bed, it does look absolutely massive. Then you've got this little section over here, which Adrian's just moved from. I couldn't autofocus. So you've got these nice bright chairs and a big window. The window is frosted, so you can't actually see in or out, which is really nice. Then you've also got the bed. You've got a little desk over here. And then you've got this little, like, station area, which behind Adrian there is an espresso and stuff, which is really handy. Big wardrobes, just in case you're staying for a while. And then the bathroom here, which is really nice. You've got a little waterfall shower there and a bath. And then that little mirror is actually a TV, which is really nice if you wanted to kind of have a chill and have a watch of telly in the bath. And then you've got a really nice counter space here. The mirrors and everything. I think I'm gonna take a few flat lays and stuff in here because it's really nice. Um, and then we've got robes and stuff and me. Hi. What's the matter, Pokemon? What's the matter? Do you wanna know the situation? The so I dropped the lid to the Nespresso thing, like the watery thing, this. I dropped this lid down the back of the cupboard and we can't get to it because the cupboard is literally like the height of my waist. So I um, don't know what we're gonna do there.
hotel and we're now walking to the train station to go home. I think we're going to try and get some more, oh, bin, just some more outfits shot today because it doesn't seem to be raining and it's not that cold. So I think we'll be able to get like a couple done at least, but we'll see. Um, fingers crossed it doesn't start raining because you'll know what England's like. Just got back from the hotel about an hour ago, I reckon, and just kind of had a few packages randomly turn up all at once. I had two guys at the door simultaneously, so it was like one straight after the other. So thought I'd show you what I've got because I'm actually kind of loving it. And neither of the things are fashion, which is a difference for me because normally it's quite a lot of fashion bits, but thought I'd show you what there is. Ignore the voice. I seem to have picked up a sore throat and ignore the shower because Adrian's currently showering. But this is what I've got. So the first parcel is from Method and it is their limited edition rose gold collection which I'm going to try and show you without knocking the whole back of this over. So in here there is just a multi-surface cleaner, this I believe is the washing up liquid and then two hand washes so this is a foaming one and then the normal one. And these are all in the new scent which I believe is called Pink Pamelia. I'm not sure how you say it but I'm doing a collaboration with them at the moment and I'm really excited to keep trying all these because I've actually tried this one before at a friend's house and I loved it so I'm excited to try out the whole range. especially these these two because I'm a sucker for good smelling cleaning products. I hate kind of bleachy smells so really excited for those. Thank you very much to the Method team for that. And then speaking of cleaning in a whole other sense, L'Oreal kindly gifted me this long hair goals box which I'm going to show you because the inside is kind of amazing. So in here we just have three hair products which is the shampoo and conditioner restoring ones. This is the Dream Lengths collection which smells amazing. I was actually going to buy this yesterday in boots so good thing I didn't. Sorry, right, quick switch to iPhone, the camera just died. Then we have the no haircut cream, which helps seal split ends and reduce breakages. And then these really cool stickers, which just have random like hair things on them and little emojis, which is really cool. I also love these. And then there's also this, which I was really excited about. So they gave me an Instax Mini 9 camera with 10 sheets of film. So I have already got that out. No shame. It's here. La 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 la. I actually do already have the blue one, which is sat up there. So this one is going to take place here and then this one's actually kind of a bit broken the shutter doesn't close anymore because adrian's family friends have a little four-year-old and he was trying to play with it and knocked it off the side and it basically fell on concrete and broke that but it does still work perfectly fine it's just that's a bit annoying so now i've got a little pink and a little blue which is really cute next to my little dream line candle and all the other little gizmos and gadgets that we have up here but i'm now going to put my phone not my phone my camera on charge because that's obviously <laughs> needing some battery. I knew it was going but I just hadn't got around to charging it yet and I only have one battery because I haven't got around to buying a new one yet. So Adrian's actually off to a whiskey event tonight with Sam um, so I'm going to make the most of having alone time and I think I'm going to try and either get some videos filmed or I'm trying to like pick this up at the same time it's not really working. <sighs> I'm going to try and get some videos filmed or just get some videos edited because I think I've got either one or two backlogged. I can't remember how many I've actually got backlogged. So I'm going to have a gym session, I'm going to watch some videos and stuff that Adrian doesn't like me watching, so like teen mum and that kind of thing. I'm just going to have a really girly night in on my own, to be honest. Um, but I also do really need to go to the gym, so that's high on my list. But I've also, somehow, over the last like week, I managed to like, I don't know if you can really see, you probably can't in the camera, but I've managed to sprain my ankle, so one ankle is like a lot bigger than the other one. Don't know if it's actually a sprain or if I've just hurt it, but... I shouldn't really be doing cardio on it because it's really sore. But yeah, I'm going to go make myself some dinner now. It's like 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock, it's 6 o'clock. It's kind of a good dinner time, I feel. I kind of like to have dinner early, so I'm going to go with it. And then I'll probably end up having like a snack or something later on, like some nuts or something. Really, really loving those PR packages. So thank you very much to Method and L'Oreal for giving me some goodies. And I'll catch up with you in a moment. Also, before I forget, thank you very, very much to the Arc Hotel because... Last night's stay was amazing. I really loved our room. It was really, really comfortable. Staff are all really friendly and there is going to be a full blog post coming up because obviously we were staying there to review it. But really, really liked it. It's actually a really nice hotel and a great location if you are coming from outside of London and you wanted a really nice hotel. And they're kind of doing it all up at the moment. So apparently it's like a family run hotel and the wife does interior design. So it's really, really homely and it's very much like how I would picture a hotel if you're an old Englishman sat in your study with your mates with a little cigar. That's the kind of vibe I feel like it has in like the tobacco, was it tobacco lounge or martini lounge? I can't remember, something like that. Either way, it was a really, really nice hotel and thank you very, very much to them for letting us stay. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go make some food now. I'm off to get my hair touched up. I'm currently looking like this. And it's so windy, I can't even tell you. But hopefully... The roots and stuff will be sorted and I'm going to ask him to trim it so that it looks a bit nicer but catch up with you in a moment. Just heard the roots touched up so I'm just leaving a treatment on it now. And, then... and I bought my laptop to catch up on some admin because life. Hang on. I'm going to set 
This is the finished hair. So we've gone a little bit darker on the top and then made it a bit more ashy, but I absolutely love it. I think this is probably my favorite color I've had in a long time. I love it. And Emmeline is still getting hers done. <laughs> I'll try, if she's put one up by the time this vlog goes off, I'll try and show you the before and the after of hers. Because it's a big old change. Oh, I literally look like the tin man. <laughs> I don't even think that was on you when you said that. I know, literally. You don't. You just know you're in a really quirky fashion show. Good morning from me and the new hair. I don't know if you can really tell, but it is actually a lot darker. Also, sorry if you can see my nips. Um, it is a lot darker on the roots, just so it kind of blends a bit more with my natural colour. And we kind of ashy blonded the rest. Let me try and get into the light and show you properly. So I don't know if you can really see, but I really love it. I think it's really, really nice. It's a lot more me. I did love the blonde before. I love like the two-tone blonde and everything. I love every hair that Paco does for me, to be completely honest. But this is probably one of my personal favourites. And we also thinned it out a lot, so my hair's a lot less weighted on my head. Because I have so much hair that it tends to get quite heavy and like... Yeah, just weighs me down a little bit. So this morning we have been, it's at quarter past 11, which is actually quite early for me and Adrian to be this productive. We have filmed an Instagram story for a collaboration. We've done a picture for a collaboration. I've got another picture to do for another collaboration. And then I think we're gonna try and get some shooting done because I don't know if you can tell, but it's blooming sunny outside. So we're gonna make the most of it because it doesn't really get this sunny in England that often. And yeah, I just wanted to shoot some spring content. Um, even though my spring wardrobe is very sparse at the moment, we want to try and get as much done as possible because we might as well make the most of the sunshine and I've got skirts and stuff that I want to be wearing. So I'm going to try and get that done today. This little P has given up caffeine for like three weeks and he's definitely not the most happy of you. <laughs> How's the caffeine withdrawal? So... Are you not wanting Why to be in a vlog? these videos and... These just came in the post and I'm a bit obsessed. These are actually stocked on ASOS if you wanted to get your hands on something. They come in loads of different colours. But these are probably the best fitting sliders I've ever had. And these are so perfect for South Africa that they're definitely coming in my suitcase. They don't look too great like this. But I promise when I have my feet not looking like this, then they're fine. You can also see the fact that ugh, you can't really see on camera. But this ankle is like completely swollen. Like this ankle's really small and this one's just humongous. So I'm out of the gym for a few days. But yeah, I love these. I also forgot to mention this came in the post alongside the Lacoste sliders, which I don't know if I put in the vlog. I think I just did. But this came from Primark. So let me show you what's in here. It's just this tote bag, which is actually part of their Henry Holland collection for Graduate Fashion Week, which is like a new thing. Sorry about the banging. These are retailed at £3. Really, really love this. And this is the other ones that come in the range so i actually love the dog one and the can't stop us ones but the bring it on one is also a personal fave i feel like this is definitely one that Paige would love because it's very cute but yeah i love these they're really really cute and they're really inexpensive and a perfect way of carrying around all your stuff so i'm excited to kind of get using this because as you can see it's actually quite a big old bag so it'd be great for like carting around spare outfits and stuff if we're shooting Without this turning into basically a blogger mail unboxing haul, another few bits have just turned up. Um, so I've actually got in here some Elegant Touch nails, which are the instant nail stick-ons. So they've just given me these three, which I'm going to show you a bit closer up because this isn't a very good way of showing you. So we just have some fluorescent pink ones, which are going to be perfect for summer. There's these ones, which are kind of gold and red. And then there's these, which are probably my most favourite ones. If it focuses... These are just sparkly tipped ones and they're really cute. So these are all basically the ones that have pre-glued backs. So they're perfect for <laughs> situations like this. So they're perfect for when you kind of want to just be quickly putting them on and going. Because I know a lot of people don't like glue because it gets really messy. So yeah, love those. Definitely these are my favourite though. But these are the other ones. These are like a matte finish almost. I don't know if it's like specifically, I don't know. They're called Vacay Vibes. This is called Wild Weekend. And this one is called summer siesta oh i'm very close oh how do i go away there we go i don't think i quite mentioned what i'm doing today just cover my nips up we are actually heading over to valandry which is um i believe a cafe restaurant and we're getting afternoon tea there me and adrian and then i'm also heading over to dorothy perkins to kind of have a little shop around pick some bits that i like that kind of thing so i think we're going to bond street in a couple of hours because it's only quarter past 12 now so i've vlogged a lot in the last hour to admit i've vlogged a lot but we've actually taken some really cool pictures today so i'll try and put one on here because i really like them and even though they're for a cleaning brand i think we've done really well because it's something we've never done before but i have to mention where is the where is the product 
So I actually got sent the new rose gold method range, which I think I mentioned earlier this week. But I'm just trying to grab it from our cleaning corner. This smells absolutely insane. I love this so much. And I think the packaging is so aesthetically pleasing that I almost kind of just want to like leave it on the side because it just kind of goes with my bathroom. My aloe vera does not. But yeah. I just really like it. And then we've also got the two washes there because one's foamy and one's just normal like hand wash. And I quite like changing between the two. So yeah, I used it just now. My hands smell heavenly. Bathroom is a bit of a mess. Let's ignore it. A quick outfit of the day. I'm wearing this. So I've just got this lace cami from Next with a oversized shirt that keeps falling off. With an oversized shirt that keeps falling off my shoulder from Misguided. This is just like a really nice soft denim frayed hem number. I've got my weekday jeans that I always wear, my loafers from Primark which are in my most worn items and this Fiorelli bag which I haven't used yet, hence the tag. This is from Ashford Designer Outlet and it cost me like 30 quid I think, reduced from 85. So this is today's look. Me and Adrian were trying to decide whether this bag looks better or, or this bag looks better. But I think the brown because I think this is a bit too black and white. And I kind of feel like this one's a bit more spring, so I'm going to go with this one. Plus I kind of like the shape of it, it's quite cute, so going with this bag. We're just at the Blandry St James having afternoon tea. It's really, really delicious. We've kind of like demolished it already, but we're going to take the cakes home for later on. We took some really good pictures earlier. We've had a little mooch round. Didn't do my Dorothy Perkins thing, I'm doing that tomorrow now. So if the store's fine with it, that is obviously, um, that will be happening tomorrow. But yeah, I've had a really yummy afternoon tea. Definitely recommend. I think it's like £25 a person, which is quite reasonable to be honest. But we're going to head home now when we've got all of this to take away. There's so many cakes. We've eaten all the scones. There's like half evidence here. And then some sandwiches. Yum. Good morning. It is actually Saturday afternoon. It's not even morning. Ah, I've got a knot in my hair. Um, I forgot to film all of yesterday because I was busy running around. I had so many meetings and other bits and pieces going on that I just kind of completely forgot. So I thought I'd pick up where I left off and yeah, show you what we're getting up to today. So we're actually going to film a video that's going up tomorrow now. This one is currently pretending to sleep. We need to film a video that is going to be the travel plans for 2018 because a lot of you have been asking kind of what we're doing this year, why we stopped, all that kind of stuff. We haven't stopped, like I literally made a whole video about this which I'll leave in the cards. We haven't stopped, we never stopped, we never planned to do everything in one go, like that was never a thing. So I'll leave that all linked and whatever and you can check it out but we're going to film that in a minute. We did tidy the room but we messed the bed back up so Adrian could get a picture. And then I just started pulling stuff out of a suitcase from a shoot I did about a week and a half ago. <laughs> um, the shoot I did with Kay, which is literally quite a while ago, and I have not unpacked the suitcase. That is going nuts out there. Um, there's a few PR parcels I want to show you, but I don't know whether to show you now or whether to wait a little bit. Um, but for right now, I need to unpack this. I promise you I've not forgotten about the vlog. We've just done an Asda shop and got back, and I'm now heading to the gym. I'm going to attempt to do the, like, not cross trainer, like the thing that's kind of like a cross trainer again because apparently that's the least strain on my ankle and I also have an episode of America's Next Top Model to watch which is kind of the reason I'm going to the gym I'm making myself watch that on the, um, while I'm doing my cardio so I'm going to try and smash some body weight glutes and abs because I can't physically lift weights like lower body wise because of the fact that my ankle is really sore and I dropped the ring light tripod on my foot last night really really sore but yeah I'm going to head over to the gym now I can't actually manage to keep my face in shot when I film like this. Um, yeah, I'm gonna head over to the gym now. This one's tucked up in bed again. <laughs> he hasn't really moved all day because he's really hungover and Dave's coming over to cook his dinner in a bit. But um, I've also got some blogger mail bits that I definitely, definitely, definitely need to show you, but I'm gonna wait till tomorrow to do so because there's a lot. There's also a misguided parcel down here for a haul video that I'm gonna do. I'm also gonna do the body fat thing at the gym, which is kind of a bad idea because I feel like I'm gonna end up hating myself. So I might wait till tomorrow morning to do that when I haven't like had a full day of eating and stuff. But yeah. <laughs> Do you remember the time when we were young and wild and free? Do you remember that life we had to give?
just wanted to let you know. What is that? I can't remember what it is. Okay. It's me. I just wanted to let you know not to give up on your dream. Even if you want to. Just Stop. like, don't. <laughs> don't. <laughs> that is not what I was actually here to talk about. So I'm just sitting down to edit the um, video for tonight. I know, I'm always the last minute one over here. I actually do film things way in advance. I just kind of don't get them up way in advance, like edited and stuff. I'm gonna get better at it, but for right now I don't. So I am putting up the video that is the travel, what are we calling it? Travel talks. Let's talk travel Let's something. Let's have a chat about traveling. Let's have a chat about traveling in 2018, because that's the year we're in. Um, it's with Adrian. He was a bit of an idiot in it, he was very hungover. <laughs> but that is going up tonight. I've started my intermittent fasting today, so there's gonna be a video on that in about two weeks time. I'm gonna do 10 days and then kind of show the progress and stuff and then see how I feel after that. But today's a really gray and rainy and gross day, to be honest. We were planning on getting some shooting done because yesterday was so nice, but now it's just like heavens have opened. Um, Apparently it's going to be like this for like a week as well, which isn't good. So that's really, really, really annoying, but nothing we can do about it. We live in England. So I think we might have to just grin and bear it and shoot like the odd outfit every now and then in the rain. Just cooked myself a healthy dinner. And if I do say so myself, it actually looks quite yummy. So I've got tofu, edamame and Nando sauce, Brussels sprouts and some basmati rice. And this looks delish. So I'm going to tuck in and then I'll get back to you. I'm also about to watch some YouTube videos because my travel talks one has just gone live. So I'm going to pick something to watch. Okay, as promised, it is Sunday night and I thought I would show you the bits that have come kind of PR wise this week. Um, I did show bits throughout the week, but these are bits that I know that I haven't put in. And I don't know if there's anything else because I can't remember, but this is what I know of. So I'm gonna show you what there is. So first things first, we have a little bag from Pandora. I'm gonna show you this on the bed because it's way easier. From Pandora, we just have these two bracelets. So this one, oh, this is gonna be really difficult to do. This one is just a kind of, not solid bracelet, but it's one of the ones that's a bit like meshy. I don't know if you can really see close up on this. There we go. So it's just kind of like a mesh bracelet. It's really cute. It's one of the charm ones, so that's really nice. And then there's also this one, which is again a charm one, I think, if you want it to be. I'm not actually sure. No, I don't think it is because it's got this bit, but it's like an adjustable one, which is really cute. I thought that was really sweet. So they're kind of the same, but different. And I love stacking bracelets. So this one's just loads of tiny little hearts and it's not focusing, so I'm not going to be able to show you properly, but it's very cute. It's just a really nice, simple little kind of mini and then there's this one which is um a little honeycomb again not focusing yes yeah, so it's just a little kind of honeycomb design with a bee on it really really sweet again definitely going to become a gold person i think because i wear a lot of silver but this is really cute if you're wondering as well the one on my thumb is actually pandora too that was a present from adrian's mum and stepdad for christmas then we have two watches so there's actually two different ones here so this one is from versace and it looks a bit like this i love the way i'm just throwing things around so this is the first one this is a versace one and it's really really nice i love this i need to adjust it because it's huge but it's just the black face with the silver detail Details on and I thought it was really really nice very classic really love that one and then another watch from Paul Hewitt this one's just a rose gold one why are you struggling to focus so much just a rose gold one with the mesh strap really love this one as well really nice and simple and then also this bracelet which is not focusing I don't know why a gold anchor with the grey rope Adrian also got one from them, which is really nice. Okay, I'll sort that in a minute. Then we got some bits from Dorothy Perkins. So there's this bag, which is really cute, really nice and small for summer and whatever. But you'll notice there's no black in this, which is a big change for me. There's a t-shirt here, which says Aloha. I'll put a picture on the screen of what it looks like on because I actually took pictures in the changing room. This is just like an embroidered t-shirt, really liked that one. Then we have a jumpsuit here, which again, I'll put a picture on the screen because I can't get it off one-handed. And a yellow blazer here, which again, I'll put a picture on the screen because one-handed. That's everything I got this week that I can remember and find. Sorry it's a bit of a like weird random little brush haul at the end of this vlog, but I thought I'd give you one because I'd promised it. I hope you liked this week's video, guys. I actually feel like it's been a lot of me talking and not a lot of anything else, which is very strange for me. Normally it's the other way around. But this week I actually have lots planned. I've got the Cosmo Blog Awards, which I'm going to with Pandora, which is gonna be really nice. It's with like Sinead and the girls as well. Then I have drinks with someone. I've also got seeing Tash all day to tomorrow which is gonna be really good we're gonna film some videos and just have some friend time and then i can't think what else there is there's like random drinks and like prayer the press days and stuff so gonna be lots going on this week hopefully i'll film a lot i've got more confident filming in public and like remembering to pick the camera up so hopefully there will be quite a lot 
I've also got the intermittent fasting video which I'm filming like alongside this so like this week and a bit of next week is going to all be part of that too so I might inc include I can't speak I might include little snippets so that you can kind of see what I'm getting up to and what I'm eating and that kind of vibe um but yeah I really hope you enjoyed this week's vlog blog post for the hotel will be up next week I'm just editing all the pictures up and Adrian's helping me out also I don't know what else to say that's about it my brain is fried from trying to work the camera out because it wouldn't touch focus then and I've got to edit the whole vlog before I go see Tash tomorrow so yeah I'm gonna say goodnight now and sign out a happy Sunday slash Monday you're watching this on a Monday possibly or not you might be watching it on a Wednesday Thursday Friday I don't know either way have a good week and I'll talk to you in my next vlog. Bye guys.